Hey guys, Kyle here with Dark Iron Diesel. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to set the valves on your 6.7 Cummins. The truck in the video is a 2011 uh, Ram 3500. I just did a head gasket replacement on it and now I'm setting the valves. So uh, if you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. If you got any questions, ask in the comments or look me up on Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel and shoot me a message. Hope you guys enjoy. So actually on the front of your engine, you got your harmonic balancer and uh, there's a, a line on it and we have to get that line right up to 12 o'clock position. So it's kind of hard for me to show on the camera, but I, I'm going to go underneath there. I'm going to find the line and then I usually use a paint marker and I just kind of give it a little a mark so that when I look from up here, I can see it like there it is down there. That's this is not the line. That's just the pulley. But uh I can see it a lot better from up here if I put a paint line on it. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm under the truck now. I just have a 15 millimeter socket on a half inch bar to turn it over. Just turning right on one of the bolts for this uh, harmonic balancer. Uh, so here, if you can see that, it says TDC. And see how hard it is to see that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark it with a paint marker. Okay, there, I got it marked, so now it's going to be much easier to see from the top of the engine. So what we got to do now is we got to rotate this to be exactly 12 o'clock, so straight up in the upright position. So usually get a guy up there watching and you can slowly uh, crank this engine over, turn it clockwise. Okay, if we can see down here, there you can kind of see, sorry. It's an angle but there's the white line it's exactly in the 12 o'clock position you can kind of see that and so you're either going to be on top dead center one or top dead center six i personally like to be on one and i start with one and i am on one because here's my cylinder one and both of my rockers are loose if i go back to cylinder six that one's got a tiny bit of play in it but that one's real tight so I know I'm on TDC one. Okay, so first I wanna say, uh, these are the intake arms and these are the exhaust arms. So intake is smaller, exhaust is bigger. So at cylinder one TDC, which is what we are because these are both loose, we can adjust the intake cylinders one, two, and four. So they should all be loose. So one, two, and four, yeah, they're loose. And then we can also do exhaust one, three, and five. So one, three, and five. So the Cummins factory valve lash spec, uh, if you're setting them, I don't know if you can read it, but it's 10 thou on the intake, and then it is 26 thou on the exhaust. So see, these are actually stepper gauges. They work really good. So. The first half on this one is 10 thou and the second half is 12 thou. So they're easy because I can slide in there. It should kind of tightly slide in the first bit and then it shouldn't go past this half mark. So that's the, those are the, the gauges I use. I'll just show you how to do one here. We're gonna do uh, the intake on cylinder one. So with it loose like this, kind of hold your rocker bridge down and lift it up and just see and see that's way too loose. This thing goes right through it all the way. So what you gotta do, if you haven't already backed off this adjusting nut, you gotta do that. And then you're just gonna grab an Allen key here and you're gonna turn it in. I usually kind of turn it all the way in until it's a little tight and then back it off and go from there. So I kind of try that now. Kind of gotta fight with it a bit. You can sometimes put the gauge on it too and kind of just gently tighten it onto the gauge just so that the gauge will go in. So see there, it slides in, but it doesn't slide on to the 12 thou, but the 10 thou is in there and it's got a little bit of friction. So you don't want it to slide in there too easy. So that's what I like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to hold it in that position and I'm going to tighten this nut here the lock nut 
just like that. And then double check it once more. So there, see, it goes in a little tight, but that's good. And it won't go past that half mark. So this valve is adjusted. And what I do when I adjust a valve is I just get a paint marker and just go like that. So I know this valve is done and uh, you can move on to the next one. All right, so now that this one is adjusted, we can also adjust the exhaust on cylinder one and see how loose that is. So I'm going to tighten this onto that just barely. So there's a little bit of drag. I like that, that is good. So again, you're going to hold that and tighten this nut. This lock nut is supposed to be torqued to 18 foot pounds, I believe. I will double check, but I think it's 18 foot pounds. I just do it by hand, personally, but. Okay, that loosened up on me a little bit, so I don't like that. So, I'm just gonna hold this again here. I'm gonna back it off just a little bit, tighten it slightly, and then tighten this nut again. I can just leave it there. Try it out again here. There we go, it slides in that first 26 thou, but it doesn't go past it to the eight, or the 28 thou, so. I like that. So, let's make sure this is tight. It is. And I can mark this one. This one is also done and adjusted. Okay, so I've done my intake on cylinder one, two, and four. I've also adjusted my exhaust on cylinder one, three, and five. Cylinder five and six are a little bit fun to get back there to adjust the valves, but Anyways, uh, these are all tight. Uh, the nuts are torqued to 18 foot pounds. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to our uh, crankshaft pulley and we're going to rotate it exactly 360 degrees. We're gonna get that uh, top dead center mark up again. And what that's gonna do is uh, that's gonna put cylinder six at the back on top dead center. And then we can adjust the rest of the valves. There's my line, that's halfway. Another halfway to go. Okay, if you can see down there, right down there, I got the mark on my crankshaft pulley. It's right up at the 12 o'clock position. Okay, so now that you have it back up at 12 o'clock position, your cylinder one here should be tight. See how that's tight? And then your cylinder six here, that one's loose and that one's loose, so that's good. But now you can adjust the rest of the valves. Uh, so you should have intake on cylinder three, cylinder five, and cylinder six. And you should have the exhaust on cylinder two, cylinder four, and cylinder six. Basically everything that you didn't do the first time, you can do now. Okay, all the valves are adjusted to spec. Uh, now, personally, what I do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna crank the engine over uh, just with my ratchet on the crankshaft pulley there. I'm gonna crank it over, you know, a few times anyways, and then I'm gonna set to TDC one, and I'm gonna check my valve lash again on all of them, and then I'm gonna set to uh, TDC six, I'll rotate it 360 degrees, and I'm gonna check my valve lash again, just because sometimes you might notice after you crank the engine over a little bit, it will loosen up. Okay, my valve set's all done. I uh, cranked the engine over a couple times by hand and checked my valves again, and they actually, a few of them had loosened up, so I'm glad I did that, so. Well, that's it for my quick little video on showing you how to do a valve adjustment on a 6.7 Cummins. Uh, please like and subscribe. It's a lot of work making these videos for you guys to watch, so a like and a subscribe would be awesome. Uh, but anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you for watching.